Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back to episode number 3 of my Manchester City career mode. Okay, so as you can see for this first game we are up against the Hammers, West Ham. And my lineup remains the same, De Gea in goals with Alaba, Varane and Pablo Maffeo in defence this time. I've got Matic and Gundogan holding down the midfield with Sterling, De Bruyne and Sané in front of them with Lukaku and Neymar up front. Uh, you can see I'm playing Maffeo because I don't have much of a choice. My defence is tired and I don't have any reserve defenders or, or backups. So I'm going to have to try and put, look for some to purchase in the transfer window. Okay, so into this match, as you can see West Ham is on the attack quite early on in this game. And the he's dancing his way around my defenders quite easily. And he lets a shot go that cannons off the post. That's a brilliant shot from the West Ham man. Now they got a free kick. And it's an easy catch from my keeper. He throws it out. Can I get a quick counter goal? And you can see Neymar's on the ball. He takes a heavy touch and they tackle me. Quite a simple and I get win the ball back quickly in midfield. I send it down to Lukaku. Lukaku passes it to Sané. Sané breaks free. Incredible pace as you can see. He turns on the Jets and he's flying through. Pass it to Neymar with a spectacular finish from the young Brazilian. And we're going to dab on them here because that was, a, well, not a swift counter attack because I did lose the ball and have to win it back. But nonetheless, it was an incredible run from Sané and quite a good finish as well considering the ball was quite far behind him. So you can see Neymar with two goals in the Premier League so far this season. So De Bruyne running down the wing and he gets fouled. That was not a very good tackle at all from Antonio. And referee runs at him with a yellow card. Deserve it, I feel. Now De Bruyne sends in a cross, driven cross, and it's a great cross. Matic, he finishes it into the bottom corner quite spectacularly. And that was another quick fire goal. And as you can see again, Matic is stabbing on them. And here as you see a replay of the goal. Keeper could have got to it, but I think Matic's header just had too much on it for the keeper to have a chance. So 2-0 up. Now the ball's out to Matic, back to KDB. Lukaku back to Matic. Great passing to Bruyne! Crashes the ball against the post. That was an incredibly good piece of play. Unfortunately, the ball just comes back of the post. As you can see, this game ends 2-0. And I dominated that game, I feel. 2-0 uh, result seems fair. So now I'm just hopping into my transfer list to see if I can... Well, my short list to see if I can get anybody else. Because I think I might need some backup players. I don't feel I have enough um, depth to my team. So as you can see here, first player I go for is Asensio. I offer as much as I possibly can, which is my max bid. Let's see if they hopefully accept that. I doubt it though, Asensio is really talented and he's really young, so I don't think they're going to accept quite a low offer such as that one. So we're just going to see now. Have they accepted? Nope, Brentwood have not accepted. They want way too much. Don't think I'm going to be able to afford that. Let's see if I can lure them in with a player. I'm going to try with Alex Garcia. Let's see if they accept. He's another young, talented player. Maybe they might go for this. So let's see, we're advancing in and I thought they're going to accept it and yep, I was right, they do not want the player Garcia at all so we're going to have to turn our attention elsewhere. Let me just quickly go into this and see how much money I've spent as the city manager. Uh, should be the next one. Yo, that's an incredibly huge transfer window. As you can see, 270 million spent. So up on your screen now, you can see I'm going for Jordan Henderson, the Liverpool man, to maybe also play back up to Gundogan and Matic to also play that sort of role in the midfield to hold down the team and to break up the, op the opponent's attack and to send my attacking more talented players that run forward through one goal. Uh, you can see Barkley. Uh, even though he's an attacking mid, I think he'll still do well in a holding role, so I can also play him there to once again play back up to my two holding midfielders. Again, offering the full amount. Hopefully they'll accept, but again, 
I don't think either of these teams will accept this offer because both of those players are worth quite a bit. So I'm going to try Danny Drinkwater because he's also similar to Henderson in that he'll do well in that role above breaking up the opponent's attacks and launching my attacks. Let's see if any of these players accepted. Well, all we can do now is hope. Well, Leicester have said unacceptable and unfortunately Everton have rejected. So I'm going to just jump in. Maybe I might go for Xabi Alonso, the 83 rated CDM, ex Real Madrid man, Liverpool man. He's a really good player irrespective of his age, so I'm definitely going to try go for him. Kevin Morales is another good player. So let's see if he might accept. Hopefully he will. Uh, I wonder if any of these players are going to accept. I'm hoping that they do. Everton unacceptable, Bayern unacceptable. This is unfortunate. Anyway, I'm just going to double, well, yeah, double uh, the deal for Alonso. Hopefully they'll accept 10 million. And Morales, ah, they want too much, don't have the money yet. So let's just go forward, hopefully we can get my man from Bayern. And they have accepted, wonderful. So let's just offer him a decent amount, hopefully that he'll accept. Uh, let's see, 110,000, 20%, 2 years is fine because of his age. And important first team player, hopefully he'll accept this deal. So we can seal it pretty quickly and we can get through to the next game. So I'm just going to advance again. And as you can see, they have accepted. So that's a really good steal. 10 million, maybe it's slightly on the more expensive side for a player of Chabi's age. But for his ability, I'm quite happy to take a player of his stature. So now you can see him jumping into the game versus Manchester United and my team looks the same from the last game except Mafeo goes out and in comes Stones. Okay, so you can see again I'm on the attack quite early on in the game and an opening is created and it's Lukaku! He pokes that ball wide, he was through on goal, unfortunately on the stretch, just couldn't reach the ball and he touches it wide. The ball in and it's a great corner and the balls are for another corner but nothing much happened from that so as you can see they are back on the ball but I steal it back in midfield with my engine Matic I pass it through to De Bruyne who turns the defense pass it to Neymar who turns him again and he sends in a curling shot straight off the post that was a brilliant shot and you can see it's a corner from United they get the ball through and it's a finish it's cut back from the goal line and it's a brilliant finish from Ibrahimovic. Now I am gone 1-0 down and got some work in front of me if I want to get anything from this match. And now you see Neymar's through. Pass it to Sané. Sané loses it. Back to Matic. Back to Lukaku. And he drives it over. Unfortunate finish from Lukaku. That went flying over. And you see David Alaba makes the tackle. And he sends it through to Alonso. Alonso down to De Bruyne. De Bruyne to Lukaku. Lukaku sends it over to Neymar. Neymar is through. Can he do anything from this attempt? Come on, Neymar. Neymar, yes, he's away. And he passes it into De Bruyne. De Bruyne back to Nolito. What a finish. Rocketing off the post. And what a play. That was a spectacular passing. Brilliant play. And the ball finds its way into the back of the net. One all. And as you see there, that's a cracker of a finish from the left winger from from Salta Vigo, Nolito. So you see United are back on the attack and straight away forces De Gea into a save. And the scores, the match ends at one all, and the scores are level. Well, I still think that we are doing quite well this season so far, still undefeated and I think if we're not first, we are quite per close to first on the log. So we jump into another Champions League game right now against the great PSG. Another oil rich side just like Manchester City. So let's see what they've got against us. So pass the ball out. I steal it back in defence. De Bruyne comes through with it. Down to Lukaku. Lukaku through to Neymar. Neymar turns on the Jets. And he's untouchable. They just can't stop him. And Neymar! He sends the ball across the goals. Unfortunately, just misses the post. And that was a great tackle. 
through to Lukaku. Lukaku, oh, what a ball down to De Bruyne. De Bruyne back to Neymar. And now I have a real good chance of an attack. And they couldn't stop the ball. It's Lukaku straight through. He's clean on goal. And it's a driven finish into the bottom corner. In off the post. Spectacular attempt. And a spectacular goal from the big man up front, Romelu Lukaku. As you can see here, keeper stands and stares. Given absolutely no chance. So scores 1 0. Let's see what else can happen. From the kickoff, can they do much? They come straight back at me from the kickoff, as you see, but I steal the ball back quite easily. Ball to De Bruyne. Neymar. Neymar sends it over to Sterling. Sterling running through on goal. Sterling sends in the cross, and it's Lukaku towering over the defense. And it's a quick fire second goal to leave the score at 2 0. Spectacular run from Sterling and a spectacular cross. You, as you see, Lukaku towers over the defense and sends the ball in off the crossbar. Unstoppable. And again from the kickoff. Let's see if I can steal the ball back quickly. Uh, nope, they're passing it around and I can't get onto it very easily. So they still got the ball. Now they're coming through. Maybe it's their turn to score quickly from the attack. And it's a ball in and I clear it quite, quite easily. Oh, that's a brilliant shot from Pastore, almost finding the goal. Unfortunately, just wide. I see now I'm coming in from the goal kick. The ball sent out to Sané, Sané down to Lukaku. Lukaku plays a 1-2 with Neymar. Lukaku's through again, can he get his hat-trick? Lukaku! Saved by the keeper. Lukaku was clean through, easy chance for his hat-trick. Unfortunately, he misses, but we'll move on. And as you can see, Cavani's not through on goals. Cavani goes to the chip. And it's a spectacular diving save from David De Gea. And again, it's a cross in. And it's Thiago Mata on the ball. Spectacular shot that stings the palms of the goalkeeper, but I managed to just keep it out. And let's see if I can spot from the counter attack. That's a great ball through to Lukaku. Lukaku one on one, too strong for the defender, and he sends it across. Spectacular save. Neymar tries to get it back in, just couldn't. You see PSG on the corner, they send the ball in, I clear it, and now I've got a chance for a counter-attack, and it's a good pass, 1-2, and Neymar, Neymar sends it through to Sterling, Sterling's running clean through on goals, can he finish it, can he finish it, and it's Sterling who sends it across, no Lito, what a poor miss from the Spanish winger, anyway let's see if I can continue. Uh, it's Neymar down to Lukaku. Oh, sorry, I hear Nacho, not Neymar. And it's I hear Nacho who hits the post and Lukaku bangs it into the back of the net. Guys, I apologize if I got any names wrong this episode, but I am doing a pre recording, I mean a post recording, so uh, the screen is a little bit blurry, so I'm not able to see all the names easily, so I apologize for getting any wrong. Okay, so as you see, I cleared the ball with the header, and the ball's back out. It's Nolito who's running clean through on goals. Can he finish his game off? Make it 4-0. Nolito passes it across to Lukaku. And it hits the post again. Another chance goes begging. I should have just shot with Nolito. Unfortunately, I didn't. So I miss out. Yes, as you see, I'm going into the scouting network. I'm planning on setting up a network to see if I can get in the best and brightest young talent from around the world. So I've already got one scout in. There's my second one, and uh, so both scouts I sent out one to Germany and one to Spain. I didn't show that in the video, but uh, that's where I sent them. Uh, I will hire a third scout as soon as uh, I get a bit more money coming in. So that brings a close to today's episode with two wins and a draw against a pretty tough opposition. Okay guys, so if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment down below as to what you think I could do to make this better for you guys. And subscribe if you haven't yet done so already. Peace.